to bring us more details and share his personal perspective. I'm joined in by Siddhant Sibyl, our foreign diplomatic correspondent who joins us live from New Delhi. Siddhant, a very warm welcome to you. Uh, now, as we are all aware, there has been a lot of hectic parleying, you know, between China and the UNSC, China and India as well, as we are all also aware of the fact that India's Foreign Secretary Vijay Gokhale was uh, in China, in Beijing last week. What can we expect to emerge now? Well, we can expect some positive development in coming few days or perhaps weeks. On the listing of Masood Azhar, uh, the chief of Jaish e Mohammed, the group behind many terror attacks in India, including the Pulwama terror attack, the deadly Pulwama terror attack, which took place on 14th of February, killing more than 40 Indian security personnel. So we know uh, that the Indian Foreign Secretary was in uh, uh, China, in Beijing, and of course called on the Foreign uh, Minister there, Wang Yi, uh, last week on Monday. And now uh, this development coming, uh, uh, we know that the uh, uh, British uh, High Commissioner here. Uh, uh, did uh, an on-record briefing in which he expressed his optimism as well that Masood Azhar uh, will uh, be listed very soon. It seems that uh, uh, China is uh, being turned around by the UNSC members, especially uh, the United States and uh, the United Kingdom along with France, because these were the three countries with, uh, who initially proposed uh, in, uh, in in February of this year after a Paloma attack that Masood Azhar needs to be listed. And they had proposed uh, uh, the, the right. resolution in the 1260 Seven committee. After that, we saw uh, China who, who putting a hold at the behest of Islamabad. But now it seems a real possibility of breakthrough uh, will emerge very, very soon because negotiations have reached right. uh, a tipping point. The possibility of a breakthrough, of course, seems very exciting at the moment. But with the majority of P5 member nations, namely US, UK, France, Russia, you know, we all are aware of the fact that China risks global isolation at this moment. What could be these, uh, these factors that we are talking about that could actually prompt China to give in to India's demands? Well, one, of course, is the issue of terrorism. China is completely isolated. It can't continue backing Pakistan, even though it has commercial considerations in that country, especially the CPEC. And uh, another is its relationships uh, with India. It would like to have a cordial, if not very great, relationship with India. It knows that the, uh, the, there have been a considerable uh, effort by the, the Modi administration, especially uh, with the Wuhan summit. Remember, uh, this, this month, month, Marks one year since the Wuhan summit took place. Both the leaders have met many times. So at this time, if China continues with its hmm. stubborn behavior, that will be seen negative, not only here in India, but of course, the world over, especially in important capitals, important capitals such as Washington, London, uh, Paris, and of course, uh, Moscow. So uh, clearly now China is facing a global right. ice when it comes to listing of Masood Azhar and the backing uh, of Pakistan's uh, uh, various uh, policies, which is destabilizing the entire region, whether it's Afghanistan or India. Right. Siddhant, in retrospect, if we look at the entire situation, you, you know, to, to be precise, there have been four attempts that have been made at the UNSC to blacklist Masood Azhar. While China has blocked three, there, there was a technical hold put on the fourth attempt. Do break down this technical hold and its significance. What does it mean? Technical hold is uh, is a hold a country puts to to understand an issue, but it's been ten years and China is still understanding the entire issue is quite hilarious uh, right. if you look at the entire situation. Uh, but uh, this technical hold is valid for nine months, uh, six months, uh, three months, and six months. So so the next deadline comes in June because in March or. Uh, 14th, uh, 14th of March, that hold was put on. So three months uh, uh, finishes in uh, June. So we can expect some kind of decision then. Even then, if China continues with a stubborn behavior, continues to back with Islamabad, especially on the issue of terrorism, there are uh, three, uh, six, six more months for China to reconsider its decision. Remember uh, uh, the sources here in MEA after the after the decision was announced by China, it's putting a hold. Said that they're willing to work with China. They're willing to be patient with China, they're willing to give more time to China. But it's been a decade, of course, there is sense of frustration here in New Delhi. New Delhi is being backed by its allies, whether it's France, Washington or London. But clearly now, 
China is now on the receiving end. It's not only just its uh, its southern neighbor, which is India. It is uh, U.S. as well. And you know, uh, Beijing needs New Delhi now. It needs Pakistan, of course. They are all with a friend, Absolutely. but it also needs New Delhi, especially when it's facing a uh, lot of problem and pressure from the Trump administration. Absolutely, and would be very interesting to see if the global um, support that that India has been able to garner will be able to break through this bonhomie between China and Pakistan or not. Thank you so much, Siddhan Sibal, for bringing us all the latest on this news story.